Hello everyone, welcome. Good to see you. It's 2022 and I thought I'd make a video talking about how I'm going to try to personally become a better photographer and a better person. I think those two things are related going into this year. Hopefully you could help me be accountable. Be like, hey, Zegalus, what are you doing? And Z, my name is Jared Z, photography. Zegalus is my last name. What are you doing? You said you were gonna do this. Why aren't you doing that? So I will also do the same thing for you. If you just tell me in the comments what you want to accomplish, I will literally write it down and I'll do a check-in with you every once in a while. No joke, I even made a spreadsheet for that so I could help people out a little bit. So if you want that, let me know. The first thing that I'm going to do, and this video is a little bit of an indication of that, hopefully, is I'm gonna stop overthinking things and I'm just going to embrace failure a little bit more in 2022. So I was a high school teacher for 20, almost 20 years and 18 years to be exact. So. One of the things that I was really good at is giving advice. Teachers, I think, are great at giving advice. We're not always great at following through or being examples of that same advice. I think a lot of teachers out there would resonate with that, right? So I would always tell my students, what is holding you back? Why are you stopping yourself? And usually it was somehow you'd start rooting out like this fear of failure. And I think I have a lot of that. So I've tried to make this video a couple times over the last week. And for whatever reason, I'm like hung up on it. I can't. I'm like, nobody cares. That's what I keep thinking in my head. Nobody cares about what I wanna do in 2022. And the idea though, is that there is an audience for everyone and that you might be able to reach people that you wouldn't have otherwise reached. And if I let overthinking and I let the fear of failure hold me back, I won't be able to help other people and I won't be able to maybe be helped by them, right? YouTube and Instagram, social media can at its best connect people. It doesn't often do that, or you don't think it often do that, does that anymore. But I wanna to try to make sure that I'm a advocate and I'm a promoter of positivity, great things about photography and what it's done for my life because photography really has changed my life. It is one of those things where I look back at my young self and I'd go outside and I'd be like on a country road maybe, just driving somewhere. And I wouldn't even pay attention to what's around me. I wouldn't look at this beautiful sky that was maybe above me or the cornfield that's right next to me. I'd kind of sometimes think poorly about it. I'd be like, gosh, Nebraska sucks. And I have found so much beauty through photography. I see the world in a totally new way. And if I hold myself back, I won't be able to give that gift to other people and hopefully let them see that there is beauty in their own backyard. So my number one goal is to not overthink, to share a little bit more and to embrace failure and just screw up a lot so you guys can learn from me. My number two way that I wanna get better at photography is to do more documentary work. I, I really love documentary work. I love the idea of asking a question and going out and finding out about that. So one example is my relationship and my family's relationship with Abby and Gio. They're a farmers at a farm called Pasture to Table. Super cool people, ethical farmers who work with local eateries and local distribution places to get their food out there and they you know, work on the farm in a sustainable manner. To go out, and I just found them on my website, to go out there and contact them, take pictures of them, their farm, their relationship, Abby and Gio, has been really, really awesome. I did their wedding. They had a, this incredible courthouse wedding, which was one of my favorite weddings ever. And to build a relationship that would have never been there unless I just reached out and said, hey, would you mind if me and my son and my wife came out took photographs and talked to you guys, they were super open to it. And I think most people are. I've done some other documentary work, but that's probably the project that's my favorite. It was like four years ago, three or four years ago. I need to do more of that. I need to push myself to get out there a little bit more. For whatever reason, I'm 46 years old. I'm starting to get, I don't know, not grumpy. Still have a positive outlook on life, but I'm not as outgoing as I used to be. I don't get out and embrace the world around me as much as I used to when I was a little bit younger. So in 2022, I want to kind of reverse that. I want to get out. I want to meet more people and document more people's lives. Also going into 22, I'd like to do more classes and workshops. My buddy Dave, Photo Omaha, I'll put his link, uh, the link to his website below. Him and I did a really big workshop. Well, really big for me because it was my first one. We had like 15 people out there. A lot of fun. We did this workshop in October. That was awesome. I mean, it was it was so cool. We went out to a different part of Nebraska. We met people that I would never have otherwise, you know, talked to 
I helped them learn photography. I took some great photographs and it was just a overall win-win situation. I want to do more of that. So I miss teaching. I was a teacher for a long time and I miss that interaction. I miss helping people and I want to do more of that in 2022. So I want to do at least three, four, five workshops later on in the year, plan them out now and start to get people to sign up for them so we could do some really cool stuff together. I don't want to add too much to my 2022 list, but I will say that I want to sell more work. That's probably a little bit selfish. It's like my selfish goal that I really want to sell more of my photography, but I have a lot of it out there. And I also want to teach others what they can do with their work. So one of the things that I do in Omaha, Nebraska is teach at a local camera store. And some of my students have asked me, like I take all these photos, I have cool photos. What do I do with them? One of the things that I think is a great thing for people to do is to sell them. There's an audience for everyone. And I've had a little bit of experience on Etsy. I've sold some work on Etsy and I want 2022 to be the year where I really shift and I sell a lot more, not only on Etsy, but also on my, my own website. So I need to figure all that out. And then connecting to one of my first resolutions for 2022 is to be brave, to show everyone all of my mistakes and, and like learn from me. So I want to document the process of trying to turn my Etsy shop into something that's a lot bigger and a lot better. So my last resolution is really to look at not buying any more gear. And that's kind of wild because I love gear, but I need to take a step back. I need to stop myself sometimes. I do have a little bit of gear acquisition syndrome. I tell other people not to do this. I tell other people that the camera doesn't matter as much as the creativity. And then I go out and I want to buy new cameras. I love the gear, it's a lot of fun. So it's not like a bad thing, but I'm also being irresponsible with my money. And if I'm trying to take like my myself more seriously and my goals to become a more financially sound business person, photographer in 2022 and 2023, I need to make sure that I'm focusing on the stuff that is matters that I need and that is going to help me in my goals. And so I won't be buying a bunch of stuff in 2023 like I did in 2022. I mean, I bought this M1 Godox light, this super cool, it's a lot of fun. But I don't need it. I bought two of these. I don't need them. <laughs> Even though they'll, I'll have some fun with them, I'll do some cool stuff. You know, I need to be better. The The money that I'm spending on this stuff could be better served in other places. And I want to be a better business person in 2022 so I can have a really awesome 2023. So those are my bigger picture goals for 2022. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you're thinking about doing in the comments. If you need some help, I will put you in my Excel file and I'll contact you like once a month or every couple months or whatever. And I'll be like, hey, are you doing this? Are you doing that? I would love to, to see you grow and get better at photography and become a better person in 2022. And I hope that you see that same growth out of me. So have a great day and we'll see you down the line.